title for the next blank page says math language. What does this equation mean in English? And then I have the equation 24 divided by 6. Remember on my computer I can't make the traditional division simple. But in your notebook you can write 24 divided by 6. Box or question mark. Does anyone remember how to read this equation in English? So 24 divided by 6 equals box is heavy, heavy math language. But what does that actually mean? Gwen, you want to give it a go? 24 things put into six groups. Now the equals is going to be a little bit different. Not just going to equal something. It's going to give you the number per group. Equals the number of things in each group. Now, Gwen, I saw you looking to your right. Can you tell me what you were looking at when you were saying that? Yeah, so on the I Speak Math Bulletin Board, we've got some symbols up there and what those symbols mean. So if you're not quite sure if you remember what the equal sign really means or some of the words that go with that, same with the multiplication or division symbols, they're on the wall above my library. You can look back over there. When I am dividing, the biggest thing to remember is that I am putting into groups. So if you can imagine that first number in that equation just being a pile of stuff. And then with that pile, I then am organizing it into groups. Does that make sense what I'm doing? Yeah. A little bit? What do you think this might look like? What might 24 things put into six groups look like? Mm. Michael? Um, you could draw like six circles, that would be like six groups, uh -huh. and then you could have, um, deal out and do it and do like one in each group until you get to four, until you get to 40, 24. Very good. So Michael is saying I can make my circles, which represent my groups, kind of like my piles, and Michael used the words dealing out. I love to think of division kind of like if I was the dealer in a card game. I was getting everybody ready to play Uno or getting ready to, everybody to play Monopoly or something. Everyone has to start with the same number of cards. Division is that. I'm going to be making sure everyone gets the same number. So, Michael, you're exactly right. I can skip count by ones. One, two, three, four, five, six. So far, I've dealt out six things. I need to get all the way to my 24 thing. Now, I don't have to just go by one. 24 is a pretty large number. I could go even higher. I might skip count by two. So two for you, four, six, eight, 10, 12. So far I have yielded out 12 plus the original six. So far I've yielded out 18. 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Just like with multiplication, it's incredibly important that those groups have the same number. They are equal, not even, equal. They are fair. Division is very very big on being fair. We don't want one person to have 
16 cards and one person to have two. That would not be division. Well, I mean, unless you were oh, yeah. 16 to add one person, but you could yeah, add one person. Sure. But it would not be, it would not be division. All right, let's think of a story, an example problem that might match that equation. Will you want to try and make one? All right, let's go for it. Mr. What did you say? <laughs> we are writing. I'm not really sure why I have so much conversation. Conversation. All right, 24 Teslas. That's the total number. He's not getting any more. Remember, I now need to put them into groups. All right, Will, what's the next part of this problem? Um, he sorted them into uh, six garages. Okay. <laughs> no, thank you. Those six garages are acting like my groups. And we're going in this garage, and we're going in that garage. Those are my groups. There we go. All right, what's going to be the end of that story problem, Will? Um, how many Teslas did Mr. have? Nope. Remember, look at what division is telling us. We've had our things, we put them into groups. Now we need to figure out how the. Many, how many Teslas are in each garage? There you go. How many Teslas are in each garage is the question. We're looking at 72 divided by 9 equals question mark. So I'm going to write that down for you. So you don't need to write the title again, but the equation you do need. 72 divided by 9 equals question mark. What does that equation actually mean in English? What does that mean in English? Henley, you want to give it a go? Yeah. Go for it. Awesome. Keep going. Love that. Great job. 72 things put into nine group groups equals the number of things in each group or in one group. Very good, Kelly. Am I getting any more things? No. I'm not getting any more things. I have 72 things and then that's it. But with those 72 things, I'm going to organize them a little bit easier. I'm going to put them into groups. Specifically, nine groups. What if we were to use a bar model to help us solve this problem? Down here by my hole, 
I'm going to write 72. That's my total. I'm not getting any more. But what am I doing with that total? What am I doing with that total? Michael? Breaking up into nine groups. Yeah, how am I going to show nine groups on a bar model? On the top floor, you can like draw nine lines and then like you can fit however much are in each group in, in their own separate box. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now I'm counting boxes, not lines. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, seven, eight, nine. There we go. Now I have nine boxes. Because I need my group, my boxes to be nine. Yep. Now, with 72 being such a large number, would it make sense to go by one? No. You could, if we went by 10, it would go over, right? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. So I'm going to start with fives because fives are easiest for me to skip count. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. I got rid of 45 things. It's a good chunk. I still got a long way to go. I can't do another group of fives because that would really just be a 10, and we already know that's too much. But I could do twos. It's going to be a little harder because I'm starting at 45. 45. 47. 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63. Uh, I'm super close. Can you tell by one to add nine? Three, two, three. All right. 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72. So it took five, 152. Is it 152? No. It's eight. It's yeah, you just are adding those together. So five plus two plus one is just eight. Each group had eight. Each group had eight. All right, what kind of story could go with this? What kind of story would go with this kind of problem? Brayden, you want to give it a go? Yeah. Go for it. I have. 72 books. I sort them into nine groups. How could I sort a book without using the word groups? Box. So I could use box? Could I use any shelves? I put, put my books. My books on nine shelves. Okay, keep going. How many books do I have? Oh. Think about how many what? books are in each on each shelf. There you go. How many books? are on each shelf. Mm -hmm. Very good. Brayden first said, how many books do I have total? And I said, no. Do 
where I know how many books I have total. Yeah. I don't need to ask that question because you already know. Instead, I need to figure out how many books were going to be on each shelf. And based on our bar model that we just did, how many books are on each shelf? Eight. That's what we dealt earlier. Oh, that's supposed to be a question mark. Okay, so I have 14 things. And I have two boxes. Awesome. I'm going to put them into two boxes or two groups. Very good. I need to know how many in each box or in each group. Equals the number of things in each group. For many of you, you can see a multiplication problem and know it much quicker than you can a division problem. How can I rewrite 14 divided by 2 equals box as a multiplication problem? I could do a bar model. I could do equal group. But sometimes you guys are just really good at multiplication. And because division and multiplication are opposites, I know that you can make a multiplication equation. What would be the multiplication equation that would go with that? Devin, you want to give it a try? Yeah, two groups of something equals my total, equals 14. Two times Something is 14. Seeing that problem, can you figure out the answer? Yep. What is that missing number? 2 times something equals 14. Shall we? 7. 2 groups of 7 is equal to 14. want you to write your own story and then we'll have a chance to share out. Take some seconds, take some seconds to write your own story that would go with 14 divided by 2 equals 7. Alright, I want to hear your story. What did you come up with to match with the equation 14 Divided by 2 equals something. Go for it, Michael. Um, the Bears have 14 points, but they scored two touchdowns. So how many points are each touchdown? Okay, so the Bears scored 14 points, and they had scored two touchdowns. How many points was each touchdown worth? That will totally work. Great job. Um, Harper, you want to give it a go? Hello has 14 bones. He digs two holes to put in his bone bin. How many bones are in each hole? Love that. Togo has 14 bones. Her groups, her two groups are her two holes. She's putting bones in those holes. 
How many bones are in each hole? Vicki, you want to give it a shot? Yeah. Go for it. So remember the two has to be groups. Nope, so it has to be two groups. Why don't you think on it a little bit more? Sean, you want to give it a go? I'll do some costumes. I have 14 groups. I have 14 groups. I have 14 groups. I have 14 groups. Yes, our imposter has 14 groups. He's split them in two groups. How many? Crewmates are in each group. Tenley, go for it. No, thank you. Yeah, our plates act as our two groups. 14 cupcakes put onto two plates. Very good. Shelby, Jackson, turn around, please. She's got 14 bracelets, put them in the two baskets. Our baskets are our groups. How many does each basket have? Seven. Yep, that'll work. Will? Bowen Bill has 14 books that he's never read. He puts some books into three garbage cans. How many books are in each can? There you go, that'll work. That makes so much sense. One. You're going to do this by yourself. You're going to tell me what does 36 divided by 6 mean? No, thank you. 36 divided by 6 mean? What does it look like? And then you need to come up with a story um, that matches that equation. When you are finished writing it down, you're going to read it on Class Dojo. So you are going to tell me what does this mean in English? You're going to tell me what does it look like or show me what does it look like. You might be drawing on your whiteboard. You're doing it in your notebook first, and then you will present on Class Dojo. And then you're coming up with what kind of story could go with that equation. <laughs>